Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we are talking about the oppressor again and how it's overpowered. So first off, I'm going to start with the missiles. So they got three levels of missiles. Now we got level 1 missiles and these missiles are undodgeable. These missiles come from the Rune 2000, the Deluxo, and the Vigilante. The only way you can evolve these missiles is if you are running in a jet or the missiles hit the ground and blow up. So now for the oppressor, the reason the oppressor is overpowered is a small target, it's very hard to hit, it has missiles on it, and it has a rocket engine. How can that not be overpowered? Some people say the jet is overpowered but I totally disagree with that. The jet is a pretty big target, only 6 heavy sniper bullets and this thing will be severely damaged. I think the jet is pretty easy to take out. If you use a humming locker then use your heavy sniper then the jet will be pretty easy to take out. You can even just RPG the thing out the sky too. So I do not think the jet is overpowered. Now for the oppressor, the oppressor is a small target. It's going to be very hard to snipe that thing. Most likely you will not snipe that thing. Most likely if you do snipe it, it will be by luck. So I think the oppressor is pretty overpowered. Even against other vehicles like the tank. I think the tank should be a vehicle that is very tough on the ground and should be very hard to take out. But the oppressor could do this with no problem. I think the, the oppressor should be nerfed either way it, it only have machine guns or it can't have no weapons at all. Or another thing they could do is just give it no humming missiles. I think this will make it pretty balanced. Even though I think this thing shouldn't be in the game anyway. But most likely Vassar will not take out the game or neither would they remove the missiles. So I think the best thing they could do is give it no humming missiles. That's the best thing I could see Vassar doing. My next thing is put cooldown time in the MC menu for the oppressor. I think the oppressor really need a cooldown time in the MC menu. For people who do not know this, you can join MC business and easily request your oppressor over and over again without a cooldown time like you had to do with your mechanic. I think if Rockstar want to do this, they should either let us request our vehicles through our mechanic without a wait time or they need to put a wait time on the oppressor. So my next thing is get rid of insurance costs on the oppressor and get rid of the bad sport points too on the oppressor. If you didn't know yet, I got bad sport for 4 months for destroying somebody oppressor. I was defending myself with the vigilante against it and I got 4 months in bad sport. So I really think Rockstar should get rid of the bad sport points, even the $20,000. They should just make this to $100. This will make it a lot more balanced or they should just get rid of the insurance costs overall. All Rockstar could do my favorite thing is remove this piece of crap from the game. That is my favorite thing that Rockstar could do to the oppressor. So just, just before I leave this video, I just want to let you know for those who be commenting the oppressor is not overpowered, get good at the game. For those who said that, I, I'm trying to make the game more challenging. So if you said get good at the game, how about you get off the oppressor and see how good you are at the game. So. Do not make yourself look an idiot in the comment section saying that. Just don't. Please do not do that. And for those who do not know how to take out an oppressor, all you need is one thing. A vehicle that costs over $3 million. These vehicles will be listed in the video. So what you need to do is just get these vehicles and drive straight to the oppressor and use your missiles. And most likely you will dodge their missiles and the missiles will just hit the ground. So another thing you just gotta worry about is who the oppressor users are. If this oppressor user is a douchebag, this douchebag will keep on getting his oppressor over and over again. So he may get by 10, 10 times and you most likely will blow him up 10 times or more. And trust me, you will lose over $100,000 in that session easily, if not over 300000 So get ready for that. And another thing, you should be happy when a money glitch do come out. You can easily get your money back from destroying oppressors too. Cause another thing about this game money system, just before I leave this video, the money systems in this game really sucks. So without the way, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this, and I'm out guys. Peace.